Hello, good morning viewers. Still on to how to dissolve profile compound fractions into uh, partial fractions. I have another problem here which falls under the first category. You can see we have two different factors under the denominator. One is linear factor and the other one is quadratic factor. Suppose this quadratic factor can be factorized, we have to factorize it in order to obtain three separate factors. But since it cannot be factorized, let me show you how to dissolve this into partial fractions. You know because we have two factors, we are going to obtain two separate fractions. So the first one will contain this factor as its denominator, x plus 2. And the other fraction is going to contain the other factor as its denominator, x squared plus 1. Um, I told you their corresponding numerators are going to be a polynomial of one degree less than the denominator. This is a linear factor. Therefore, uh, the numerator is going to be constant. So we can name that constant as e. Then plus the other fraction. This is a quadratic factor. Therefore, its numerator is going to be a polynomial of one degree less than this. And one degree less than this is going to be uh, a polynomial of degree 1. So we have something like this, bx plus c, where b and c are constants. So now having obtained this, we are going to find the values of a, b, and c. To do that, let us multiply each of these fractions by these two factors. If you multiply the left-hand side by these two factors, they are going to be eliminated, leaving only the numerator we have. 3x squared plus 2x, then plus 7. To the other side, uh, if you multiply this with these two factors, this and this will cancel out, leaving only this time this. So we have a multiplied by x squared plus 1. Plus, if you multiply this by these two factors, this will eliminate this, leaving only this. So we have bx plus c multiplied by x plus 2. 3x squared plus 2x plus 7 from the left hand side is equal to, we are going to expand all this, this time this is going to be ax squared, this time this is going to be a, then plus bx times x is going to be bx squared bx times 2 is going to be 2bx. Then the other term, we have c times x, cx. We have c times 2, 2c. Now all those with x squared, we are going to connect them together. But we can directly factorize. You can see these are the two terms that contain x squared. ax squared, bx squared, so we can see a plus b. Then we bring x squared out. Plus, we bring those with x. Uh, we can see we have one here and we have one here. So this is the same thing as 2b plus c. Outside we have x. And those without x, we have a. Uh, and we have 2c plus a plus 2, 2c. To the left, we have 3x squared plus 2x plus 7. Therefore, we are going to relate their coefficients. The coefficient of x squared to the right is just a plus b, while the coefficient of x squared to the left is 3. So we see a plus b is equal to 3. Thus, with x, we have 2b plus c, 2b plus c must be equal to 2. And thus, constant a plus 2c a plus 2c is equal to 7. These are the three equations we obtain by breaking this fraction down. We are going to solve them simultaneously. So let me name them. It's equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. Um, from equation 1, you can see we can make a the subject. A can be equal to 3 minus b. 
and we can name this as equation four. We obtain this equation from equation one, and we can plug this into equation three. By putting A into equation three, wherever we see A, we replace it by three minus B. So let's repeat this one. We have two B plus C from equation two, and from equation three, if you substitute the value of A to be three minus B, we have three minus B, then plus two C is equal to seven. But we can take this positive three to the right by subtracting three from both sides. Minus three here, minus three here. We will have four here, and this will go. If we want to solve this simultaneously, we can multiply this equation by two. If we multiply this equation by two, we can eliminate B. So we say minus two here. This is four, and this is going to be eight. So now we can add these two equations together. This plus this is zero. This plus this is five. So we have five C here. This is equal to 10. To find the value of C, we divide both sides by five, which is the coefficient of C. C is now going to be equal to two. Having obtained the value of C, we can substitute it into equation two in order to find the value of B. From equation two, we have two B plus C equals two, but C is now equal to two. So we say two B plus two is equal to two. If you take two to the right hand side, uh, it becomes negative, meaning two minus two. We have two B to be equal to zero, and B is equal to zero if you divide both sides by the coefficient of B, which is two. Now we have of 10, B and C. We can find the value of A by substituting the value of B into equation number four. So from equation number four, you can see that A is equal to three minus B, and this is equal to three minus zero, and this is equal to three. And hence our A is equal to three. Now we have of 10 the values of A, B, and C. We can now substitute them back into this original uh, equation in order to obtain our facial fractions. Our facial fractions are going to be, for A, we have it as three. So we have three over x plus two, then plus bx, the value of b is zero. Zero times x is still zero. What we have there left is just c. And the value of c, you can see it here as two. So what we have left is just two over x squared plus one. And hence, these are our facial fractions of this compound fraction. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.